Greetings and humble salutations. I am Thomas J. Williams, a graduating accounting student from Chicago, Illinois. Greetings, I am Jade Martin, a graduating business administration management student from Fort Lauderdale, Florida. Greetings, I am Zakethia Jackson, a graduating business administration student from Miami, Florida. Greetings, I am Leslie Williams, a graduating business administration student from Miami, Florida, and today we're going to present to you Coach. Today's agenda on coaches, first we're going to start off with the background, the mission, vision, and value statement, the SWOT analyst, the strategic issue, the recommended strategy, the implementation plan, the return on investment, the projected benefits, risk, projected income statement, and the conclusion. Some background history on coach. Coach was started in 1941 in a small Manhattan loft. Coach started off with six leather, handmade leather workers who created wallets for Coach. Coach is also the first American leather accessory company. Coach's current mission statement reads, Coach seeks to be the leading brand of quality lifestyle accessories offering classic and modern American styling. The mission statement is missing the nine components. We created a revised mission statement, which reads, Coach is committed to providing consumers with top of the line quality and products made with care and passion. As a company in the fashion industry, Coach strives to remain up to date with current fashions and trends while providing unique and tasteful products. Our aim is to reach individuals who wish to express their taste in a classy and elegant manner. We believe that our integrity and values are based on our respect and concern for consumers as well as the environment. Coach will strive to produce all products in an efficient and innovative way that will allow consumers to expand their Coach experience through purchase profiles online. We will practice a growth in initiative that is clean, profitable, and competitive. The coach brand consists of high standards as well as morale. Through uniquely developed projects, we will give back to our community. Our employees will be provided with a professional and unique work environment that will foster employment and career growth and development. The current vision statement reads, to become the company that defines global modern luxury. Our value statement reads, at coach we believe as inspirational, and modern work environment is where exceptional talent thrives. We nurture a culture infused with creativity, innovation, entrepreneurship, learning, and achievement to allow our to allow our people to always bring their best. We are inspired, talented, and diverse individuals who will collaborate to drive the continued success of our brand. And we know that coach culture is truly a reflection of our coach people, both who we are and who we strive to be, simply defined by our coach values. We see possibly in the impossible. We nurture authenticity, we integrate individually in teamwork, and we infuse creativity and logic. We will now take a look at a SWOT analysis of coach. We will take a look at strengths in marketing and accounting, weaknesses in management and technological, opportunities in competitive and economic, threats in legal and social. Some strengths that Coach possess is that Coach owns all material worldwide trademark rights. To support major selling seasons, Coach runs local, regional, and national local campaigns. Some weaknesses for your company is that you all have experienced the turnover of several senior management roles. Computer system disruption and cybersecurity threats include privacy and data data breach could damage the coach brand among customers. Some opportunities for your company is that Michael Kors has experienced a reduction in growth during 2015, and that has increased market saturation and reduced overall demand for Michael Kors leather handbag collection. Per capita disposable income is expected to grow 2.4% for the next five years. That can increase profits for a coach. Some threats for your company reads the Consumer Product Safety Improvement Act that was passed in 2008, which prevents the sale of jewelry to young consumers. That is a major threat for coach and the industry with being that we want to market to more young consumers. Consumers are also leaving, leaning towards more of an online shopping and leaving traditional retail stores. 
which may increase profits for your company. Here's a look at your financial ratios. As you see on your left, Coach, you guys are doing quite well when it comes to your current ratio and um, quick ratio, showing that you know you guys are handling your asset liability very effectively. When it comes to your return on asset and return on equity, in 2013, you guys were doing phenomenal. It had cons um, decreased considerably within the last two years, but it's nothing that you guys cannot bounce back from. On your right, if you guys compare it to your, the competitors, your top two competitors right now are Michael Kors and Kate Spade. Michael Kors, who are leading the industry when it comes to the majority of the categories. Kate Spade is lacking behind you guys in the majority of the category, but again, with that return on assets and return on equity um, percent, they're kind of leading you guys when it comes to um, your ratio. But it's something that you guys can definitely come back from. And now to discuss your strategic issue. Due to our research, we developed that the brands have decreased in the public image, while competitors such as Michael Kors' revenues have been increasing due to brand popularity and style amongst teens and young professionals. Due to this issue, we have provided a strategic recommendation of product development. During this development, we will find a collection for Generation Y, ages 18 to 31, that will give a modern change to Coach's classic look. The reason we chose to focus on Generation Y between the ages of 18 to 30 was because they would create the industry's largest and fastest growing market segment. Due to the increase in companies' efforts to attract the market of Generation Y, the huge influence on product design and maintaining relevancy within the market is very important to maintain competitor strike. We developed a five-year implementation plan for your company and it's as follows. In 2016, during quarter one through four, we will introduce Coach Generation for Generation Y to the board of directors and begin the formation of the research and development team, marketing and finance, and also begins to collect information about Generation Y. We'll begin the process of establishing a marketing campaign and develop innovative products for the line as well. And we'll begin manufacturing in quarter four. In 2017, we'll begin advertising and marketing for special preview of Coach Generation Y. We will also exclusively introduce the Generation Y brand by Coach to select Coach stores within the United States. We will offer a, a, a vast variety of promotional specials to increase sales and capitalize on the holiday season. During 2018, we will analyze all aspects of CGY by Coach including but not limited to the sales, the costs involved, and the customer reaction to view how this recommended strategy is affecting your company in a positive or negative way. We will also reveal the product line to coach stores and outlets. And finally, we will unveil the product line available online through purchase through coach stores and other outlets. In 2019, we will attract the success of the focus on Generation Y. We will introduce CGY to also electronics and retail stores and online. We'll also analyze all aspects of CGY product lines, seeing where improvement of the product and cost customer satisfaction can occur. And finally, during 2020, we'll begin research for customizable interfaces for the CGY brand ages 18 through 30. We will give the, the consumer an opportunity to be able to view what they would like. And also, we will release CGY customizable within the online interface and also physical school. Here's the breakdown of the cost of our strategy. We took from 2013 to 2015, the cost of sales averaged at about 31% of total net sales. We bumped that up to a 40% rate, and we um, saw that between 40% and 31%, the average of 31% was about a 9% difference. That 9% we attracted and made it toward our strategy. We attributed that to our strategy. So you see from 2016 to 2020, these are following 9% um, of the total cost of sales, and we distributed it out that from research and development, marketing, distribution, manufacturing, and other to come up with our cost of strategy per year. Coach gains, Coach CJY gains from the strategy were from handbags and accessories, men's, and all other products. As you can see from 2013 all the way down to 2020, we took the percent change from 2016 to 2020 to come up with the gains from our product. We only took it from three categories, handbags, accessories, women's handbags, women's accessories, and all other products where the CJY electronic will fall into play. For the return on investment, we took the cost and the gain. We had a total cost between the five years of 744.9 and a total gain of 3834.6 to come up with a 414.80% return on investment. 
Some of the projected benefits financially and for customers is of course an increase of handbags and accessories within the women's department to 85% by 2020, as well as ensure a 66% change in sales from 2013 to 2020. As far as our customer goal, we want to see an appeal, rate, appeal rating of by 30% and increase by 30% within the new product line of the TJY product, as well as increase segments of Generation Y to 35.6%, making them the second largest within the industry. Some benefits as far as internal process and employee growth. Internal process, we want CJY customizable to operate at an 85% efficiency when it does come into play. We know the Generation Y is full of teenagers and young professors that are always on the go, so we don't want them to have trouble when they use our interfaces. We also want to reduce the number of products, returns, deficiencies, and uh, defective warranty claims by 15%. Employee growth, we want our employees to be able to display employee growth through promotions of CJY product line. We also want to increase Increase customer satisfaction by 30% through high quality customer service training for all employees in the thing that consists of CJY products. As you can see, this is our income statement. Um, 2013, 2014, 2015 was given from the 10K of Coach. Our projected income from 2016 to 2020 are as follows. We took cost of sales, like I said, at a 40% rate. It was at a constant 31% for the last two years, but we bumped it up to 40% with the implementation of our strategy. We also have net sales, which were explained early on how we came up with those figures, taking into consideration our, our strategy that we suggest for your company. EPS, we kept at a constant rate of 278.7 total weighted average basic share to come up with the EPS for the um, strategy. Some risk involved with the implementation of our strategy is, of course, you may experience a loss of traditional customer from Generation X who currently make up 39.6% of the market segment, which is the highest segment. But we feel like with the increase in Generation Y, that will offset that. It will also be a decrease in revenue from the traditional bags and accessories that are aimed more toward Generation X, but the Generation Y product will be in store and we hope to see a great return from them. Generation Y may not like the new product and may not take to the new product, may not feel like they're such a trending topic as Michael Kors and Kate Spade product. But we do feel like since we have the customizable interface, they will like it because they can go in and customize the product and make them their own. We do hope that Generation Y actually finds time to be able to use the customizable interface itself. In conclusion, we decided for your company to go ahead and make a plan. Because Coach had decreased in the public image, with competitors such as Michael Kors, the revenues increases for those companies showed us that our company could do a lot better. A product development strategy was developed for your company, and it was recommended to develop the collection for Generation Y, ages 18 to 31, that would give a modern change to a classic look. And finally, the strategy will benefit the company in many ways, from customer satisfaction, employee growth, and return on investment. Thank you for your time.